Hi guys, I wanted to share a tip with you on how I choose my scraps, store my scraps, and keep the flow going with the granny squares to make it easier and less overwhelming. Like, what color should I choose next? So, I keep all my scraps in a clear container. This is just a party mix container that I had gotten and it's like eight years old, but it just works the best for me. It has a lid so they don't get dusty and I can see everything that I have. Um, I just choose three of the smallest amounts of yarn that I have for scraps. I like to work in threes because it just seems to have a nice flow for me. If you wanna work four or five, great. If you wanna work two, but I, I think one, um, you just maybe waste time. And this is what I mean by that. So I started with three small amounts that I have, and I probably have another one to start this, uh, or do a center is what I meant by that. Anyways, so I've got three here, right? So I started these, and then I kind of plan ahead. You know, I think that cream is gonna look good um, around here, and then I'm gonna do the orange. I'm gonna do this blue around the purple, and I think I'll have enough to then take the blue and go around um, this one. So right there is two rows done, and here's two rows done, so that's four. Now after I take the blue, and it, this is all depending upon how big your granny squares are too. You can stop here. I'm making big ones because I'm making another boho bag. But, um, okay, after I do the blue around this one, I think then I am gonna do the orange, and then I'm just gonna do the cream. So it'll be opposite of what I did with this one, but they're still gonna go together. So that's kind of how I work um, out deciding what scraps I am going to use to get my granny squares started. And the more you do it, um, the easier it's gonna get. So I hope that's a helpful tip, guys. Thank you.